For the first time now, we're hearing from D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser and her thoughts about Virginia leaders not including funding for a new arena for the Wizards and the Caps. Alexis Wainwright joining us live outside of Capital One Arena with more on Mayor Bowser's reaction and how monumental sports feels about this latest development. Alexis. Yeah, for the first time we are hearing from Mayor Bowser about this since Virginia lawmakers have made this decision. She tells WUSA 9 tonight that they believe or that she believes that there is still an offer on the table for them to stay right here in D.C. I think that we want our teams to stay. Tonight we are hearing from D.C. Mayor Mario Bowser about the future of monumental sports in the district. Just three months after announcing proposals to build a $2 million complex for the Washington Wizards and Caps in Alexandria, legislators negotiating the budget excluded the sports arena, leaving the monumental move in question. Your reaction to Virginia lawmakers deciding not to include funding for a new arena just yesterday in their budget. Uh, I have believed as I have written that uh, the district has the best deal for fans, for Monumental and for the region, and that continues to be the case. Governor Glenn Youngkin isn't happy after pushing for the arena in the Commonwealth. The Senate refused to give the single largest economic development deal in Virginia's history any serious, meaningful consideration. The Senate uh, is about to make a colossal mistake. Delegate Luke Torin, who introduced a House version of the arena bill, hasn't answered WUSA 9's questions about why it's no longer in the budget. Everyone wants to make the arena the story. That is not the story for this budget. Meanwhile, Mayor Bowser still standing strong on her opinion that D.C. has and always will be the best option for monumental sports. It is the best not only financial deal, but it is the best use of resources, transportation resources, public safety resources, public works resources. So we think uh, it's the best deal. And we do want to make a correction. It's actually a $2 billion project that we're talking about. Now, we also asked Mayor Bowser if she's spoken with Ted Leonis about this since it's happened. She did not want to comment on that. Now, WUSA and I did also reach out to Monumental Sports about, th about this. Within the last two hours, we heard from a spokesperson who says that they have a strong relationship with the mayor and with city council and that they are appreciative of their offer. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and update you as we learn more. But for now, Guys, back to you.